And God says in Isaiah, he's describing it. So you go out to the forest, you cut down a tree, you take a piece of the wood, you carve it up. Now, the tree I made, you didn't make the tree, I made the tree. <laughs> but you don't come to a living God, you go to a piece of wood that a man has to carve out. And then after that man carves that piece of wood and makes it look like the idol and the God he wants it to look like, the thing, it's a thing. It can't talk. It's no more powerful than this. And this light's got more power because you can at least get some light out of it, get some use out of it. That thing sits there and collects dust. And you bow to it. And you bring fruit to it. And you pay homage and you worship it. And while you're doing that, if you ask it anything, it can't tell you a thing because pieces of wood cannot talk. What sense does that make? You have all these different idols of all these different names and bodies and shapes and sizes and colors and, 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 and ornaments and, and all kind of fruit you lay before it. And you, you burn incense and, and you sing and you chant and you go through all these changes and you don't realize you're talking to a piece of wood that God made. There is no power. It's dead. Dead wood you're worshiping when you've got a living God with power. <laughs>